We already started. No need. <laughs> Every time you bow to me, my wife, my black colored hair that I colored before I came here is gonna turn white. <laughs> so from here, right? So we're doing uh, open, close, uh, like this, and one is doing abanico. Am I right? I'm gonna give you guys a problem solving. Who knows this? This problem. Who can be faster? Do you have to start uh, No. No. Okay, AC? Yeah, maybe, but I think she'll go back. So you come here, AC, and uh. you talk about she back with. <laughs> okay, so you choose. No, you guys can't tell them. So from this cross pattern, everybody, uh, whatever style you're from, you guys can do this, but you guys are going to cross stick. I need you to find the faster, fastest way you can hit your partner. Do not hit your partner. The fastest way you can hit your partner. One minute to solve that riddle. Okay, so uh, let's talk about history a little bit because uh, I'm from originally from Nickel uh, State Balintalak, and I heard that there are connections to Eosa. Uh, yes. Yes. So uh, I was very interested in uh, talking to you. Maybe you can clarify a little bit the history and how these two styles are connected. Maybe you will have also more because they all, I think, come from the same circle of, of masses around the world. So maybe you can talk about that a little bit. Yeah, the history, me being Filipino, I, I want to learn more about the art. When I went to, when I was living in the Philippines before I came to the US, I have no. In, I don't even know that there's Filipino martial arts. I've been interested in Chinese and Japanese art. Then again, with my history of learning, that's when I found that we have a art. I wasn't digging deep enough yet until probably ten years ago, when after Thai boxing, I go. I went back to uh, Philippine martial arts. I said I need to really research what the heck's going on because. When I was doing Sarada, I, a GMO had called me Balintawak. Mm -hmm. And I keep telling GMO, I am not Balintawak, I am Sarada. I don't even know what Balintawak is. Mm -hmm. So from then, I met uh, uh, Guru Juru, uh, Jun Barha from uh, Tabuana Balintawak. And the, the two of us started plotting things. Mm -hmm. Basically, back here, I have a little bit of history. Uh, so, the Philippines was under Spain from 1521 to 1898. And, of course, that's a long period of being under, uh, called being colonized. By 1892, the, the, they founded the Katipunan under uh, Andres Bonifacio, which is the KKK. So, uh, just giving you a little Katipunan is the gathering. Of, uh, that's why most of the gathering of FMAs, they call it Katipunan. And then in 1898, the Labawan Fencing Association is built. The famous uh, practitioners back then is uh, Saavedra, Alicante, and Romo, and the, but the biggest name is Saavedra. Uh, and then some people call the Labawan Fencing Association also Ero Irin, which is translated to dog and cat. Now, no records, the problem is records. And I don't know why they call it dog and cat. I'm thinking male, female, maybe, but again, that's my perception. Because okay. you can't go male, male. And yeah, maybe if somebody knows it, you can write it in the commentary. Yes, if somebody knows it. Yeah. But there's other groups that exist all over the. Again, the history is, just, is going to my lineage. Okay. So, but there's other groups existing all over the Philippines which is not connected to the Lebanon fencing. This is purely Cebu. Maybe there's other part also in Cebu that doesn't follow this. Again, this is my research. Um, so they favored Saavedra back in 1898 all the way to before World War II. Because being uh, 
large amount of things. That's a sword and dagger. So the spada y daga is favored during that time. And for me, common sense tells me armor and fencing, Spaniards, sword, sword and dagger. Right? World War II happened. It became a close quarter combat in the jungle. And due to that, we see now Escrito. So all the art, the subgroups that you see now, that's probably 90% being taught right now, are all under Escrito, which is the style we see now. The media, uh, media and Porto, they, for some reason, everybody loves that. The contact. Largamano, they tend to just do it a little bit, then they go back to uh, maybe tapi tapi or or uh, in Sarada we call it the flow. Again, it's, it's freedom. After that, 1932, the first Dose Paris Club was formed. So there's a lot of members in there, basically a group of men who are very skilled in the art of FMA or other martial arts, judo, whatever. They all got together and became a club. From that club, it split into two. I'm not giving you guys details, I'm just going through it, okay? It split into two, then we have the judo, well, the, the doce pares that you see now, uh, headed by the kanyete. And then from the split, the balintawak came out. So from the balintawak, we have uh, our famous uh, Ancho Bacon, uh, the Vilga Sen, the Maranga, the Buon, the Atilo, those are some of the famous names that, that are coming out on the Balintawak. But basically, the father of Balintawak is Ancho Baha. Now, we need to dig up a little bit more and figure out who are those. But for all the research that they're giving, it's always giving credit to Ancho Baha. From Ancho Baha, the other people start coming out. Right? So even though I wrote their name here, some people are coming out. I think uh, Chu or Su and Gonzalez are probably the same batch as Baco and Maranga. Um, I really, I mean, because there are other system of Balintawak, I, I don't, I don't focus on that history. So if you guys want to add that to your comments, that would be awesome too. And then from there, Anchong Baco's neighbor is a young kid, Liborio Tiburi Hirosa. So, Liborio uh, Tiburin Hirosa start learning from Ancho Baco in his backyard, not at the school. So, a lot of the people on Ancho Baco, some of them doesn't know Hirosa. Hirosa is also learning from Nene, or they call him Enco Nene Rosales. So, he, uh, uh, Tiburin has two instructors. From there, he produced another two main characters or main higher hierarchy. We have Tintin Hirosa, which is related to him, and we have one of his famous students, which is uh, Manuel Owen Jeff. This is my instructor now. Unfortunately, he passed away a year ago. Out of that, he formed seven of us. So, out of the seven, we have now they're GMs now. We have Bebot Sal Salorno, which is a uh, GM, Rene, Panugali, and Bon Chao Escolon are the GMs. We have our senior instructor, Richard. Unfortunately, I'm not <laughs> uh, We have Jean, Don Don, and me. Out of all the seven, the only two out of the country is Bon Chao, bon, bon Chao which I mentioned in the first episode. Mm -hmm. uh, he is in France and me in the U.S. If you don't know what that is, that's also unbelievable. <laughs> and then from there, that's basically where we're at now, and maybe I can put another line here, somebody here in Germany, <laughs> or somewhere in Europe, right? But out of that too, out of the Balintawa, uh, organizations start building. So we have the original Balintawa, which probably doesn't exist anymore, they probably renamed that. So all these things are, some of them are old, some of them are new. 
We have the Tinuvel Malintawa. Now, being a friend of Jun Barha, this is where uh, uh, GM Bobby Tabwara came from and GM uh, Nikki Alizar. Then we have the Santo Nino Self Defense Club. That is long time ago. This is changed already. It's Maranga system long, long time ago. Okay. And then we have the Arnis, uh, the new Arnis Confederation of Visaya. I think it's Mindanao by uh, Attilo, but I think now it's, con con it's called Arnis Confederation. Maybe that changed also now. We have the Balintawak Inter International with Gian uh, Gilgesen. And the Herosa de Cordas, the reason why it's not known, they are underground. They don't want to teach anybody. They just teach, they teach students. And then also we have the Baros, which the family of uh, GM Sineza is also attached to all this. Now, I didn't put uh, his grandfather in here because I don't know what place he's in there, but I think his great grandfather is on top here. That's where I'm at right now. So, history wise, that's how it flows. But again, there's other part in the Philippines and another history is happening, like the Listrisimo. If you look, if you plot that down, then you will see where my Sarada came from. Okay. <laughs> Maybe another day. Another day, yeah. But that's basically open, close, 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 open, close. Abanico. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. When I say close, because your hand is closed. Okay, because uh, if you're getting confused, uh, let me explain this, all right? If I open, if you notice, my face is open on the middle. You can hit me. If I close it, the door's shut. Right? If I go here, the door is shut. When you open it, that means something will enter. Before that thing enters, I close it. So you have to understand this principle. Get okay? it? So, if I'm here, this is going to do abanico. Close, and close, open. Close, so you should check it. Open. And this is the kind of here. Open, close. All of you are doing open, close, okay? If you guys want to learn this, one person can go too fast or else the other person is going to get screwed up. But later on, when we play, it doesn't matter who goes fast and who goes slow. Okay, so again. But make sure you're not reaching. I am still in my bubble. And I'm close, open. Close, open. Close, open. I'm taking this out just so you guys can see. Because what? I'm doing this, right? But in reality, go ahead. Sorry, this is another, another style, but I'll we'll explain that to you later. And if you notice, he's From the story, okay, I'm still researching it. During that time when the Borio Tiborin was a kid, he is actually the youngest promoted instructor in Balintawa. Mm -hmm. So you can tell that he's young. I think he hasn't even finished high school or college yet. I can't remember that. He's older. What happened is 
uh, from the story of uh, my GM Owen. Uh, he has a system, which is uh, the nickname is Commander Ligaya. Back on system. So Commander Ligaya, they have a family art that's all fanning, designed for women. So I think the dad taught the sister how to do nothing to do with Balintawak or any art of this, it's just their, from a, my understanding, family art, he, trying to teach his daughter how to defend, and most of them are fanning motion. And Anchumbaco was trying to either add it in there, or he already knows it, but his sister is better, but he's getting old, maybe he can't perform, execute them anymore, I don't know. But from my understanding is, he passed that fanning motion to Hirosa. And then when he, when you did Balintawak, right? Yeah. So let me, before I finish, <laughs> it's still there. So before I finish that, okay. in all Balintawak, they say you need to change or you need to create your own, right? They keep saying that. Then when you create your own, we're going to find a way to, to make it better again. Then create another one. That's how the progression of Balintawak. I think that's what's happening here. Bakun gave it to him because we're going to create. He's probably looking like, maybe I can, there's another art that I can make, but I can't execute it anymore because I'm getting old. He gave it to him. And then Hirosa now, because being young, was able to do the fanning motion. Then from there, Bakun said, You are now called the Cuervas. Not Balintawa. That's when the the the, the, the Kurdas came came about. That's why he, the Balintawak was taken out. And he decided he put his last name his last name and connected the Kurdas. There's some books out there that will say actually Anchong Bakun said, You're the youngest one, you now hold the art of the Kurdas. I don't know why he did that, you know. If anybody knows, that will help me. And then from there, it just moved down the line. But basically, the, uh, the art is mostly performed fanning. I'm not saying Hirosa, just fan. But we practice mostly that. We do hit regular like Palitoa. Mm -hmm. The only connection I... Now I'm seeing the connection because my best friend is Jude Barra. So sometimes he does stuff and I'm like, oh. I see that in what I do here. And some of the lingo that they use yeah. is the same as how uh, Manuel uh, Jim uh, Owen explains to me. Like one of them will be when you do your ad, your, your, ad, your flow, your Amara. Mm -hmm. uh, I heard it from Jim. I say, write your name. Mm -hmm. We have the same way. And when I was learning the Rosa de Cuerdas, Jim Owen go, write your name. How? But we don't write alphabet, we write targets. That's the main difference. But the lingo is the same. And when I was learning that, Jim Owen goes, if you find a block that nobody can uh, beat right now with all seven of us, let's go brainstorm and let's go figure out how to counter it. And then when we counter it, it's part of it also. I mean, the similarity okay. is the same. I think what we find out, found out when we were talking in the last days is there are a lot of common uh, language we use in yes. the and in the Ecosa. So when I talk about chemistry and everything, you know what I'm talking about. Correct. And uh, so there, maybe because of that, you can see that there may be a... Uh, the candlestick, yeah, the candlestick, I learned from Jun Barha through Jim Barha. I, in Hirosa, we don't actually have a candlestick. Okay. But I know from other terms, in, in, in movement, yes. I can see you. Um, I mean, we kind of do the same way. Mm -hmm. Then it, it evolved a little bit, and then later on, it tilted down. Mm -hmm. Then I go back to, uh, I'm, I'm also under, um, under Maranga. He keeps telling me, stick up, stick up. Stick that, I mean, uh, uh, Kenneth. Kenneth, he wants to see the Kenneth. Yeah. yeah. 
but the similarities are there again. And then I look back and why is Sarada? Because I when, when I the first one I learned Balintawa was through Reno. Yeah. Nicopa, yes, yes. Uh, Reno, uh, shout out to you. Thank you for <laughs> introducing me to Palito. But he's the first one. He thought I know something already, but I was doing Sarada blocks. Because I was doing this instead of this. And later on, he just when I found out that I told him, you're my first lesson in Palito. Uh, it's probably because all this lands back to this, this credo. The, the Sarada is probably under the Screedo too. Mm. Okay. So I actually have another research thing with all the dates of all yeah. the grandmasters, and you can put them in a category. Okay. And then you look at the art, and all oh, the way they move is almost the same. Okay. Um, um, there's some blocks that Baro Zupo is so close to Hiroshi. Ah, GM Don't get mad at me, but there is. And that's why, for me, I love Baros. I mean, you've done Baros. Yes. Uh, it's this, the R1 Dankal rule, it sometimes falls on this. Mm -hmm. I actually end up asking Jim Owen to, if I ask permission, if I can learn from Jim. And he said, go for it. He knows me. Yeah, the same I did with uh, my teacher, Nick Nizar. Nick Nizar, yeah. He organized a meeting with Kinza, and then I started to and that's the beauty about learning now, they're, they're sharing, yes. there's no fights. <laughs> we should also add here that maybe a uh, time ago, maybe the masters didn't cooperate so well, so well. but nowadays I think it's very open, everybody is helping each other, and uh, I like this new trend in the FMA. Yes, or maybe it's a misinterpretation, because back then when I was learning uh, with Eugene Amante, the story is always, oh, Balintawak and Jose Paris, they always fight. Uh, you know, they talk about the fight in, in Balintawak Street. Okay. Then you go there and you ask all these masks, oh, no, no, we don't fight. My best friend is the Kanyete. <laughs> so, you know, it's an exaggeration. Yeah, exaggeration, yeah. I mean, when I held that party one time to get together all the masters, GMO would specifically said, don't forget the Kanyete. Uh, Amazing. But now is the best time to learn. Everybody's open, everybody's giving. Yeah. Yeah. And if you think about it, at the moment you're here in Heidelberg, or the Cabarro is in Berlin, right? yes. we give these ours in, uh, I don't know, Czech, also Czech in Europe, Czech you see, yeah. Republic. Uh, uh, Sineza is in Finland. Sineza is in Finland. Yeah, so, so Bobby knows I'm here a week yeah. early, because he actually wants me to go to his uh, event, but I said I can't. So it's amazing. It just the cooperation, helping each other out is. Kinesa knows who he is. Yeah, GM Kinesa knows that. I, I still I report to him <laughs> so, because I'm under him. So you know, I, yeah, it, you gotta be open-minded and not hide stuff that you're doing. That's the way I see it. And Open book. That's part of being respectful to yes, your teachers. Yes, to your teachers. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Tell everybody where it's yeah, coming from that you practice. Yes, and actually, you know GM Sinez very well, so, <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. it's just that uh, if you guys want to learn Balintawak or whatever systems are in here, best time right now is nobody's, everybody's giving. Mm -hmm. And I am lucky enough that now I'm here, and you guys are, are sponsoring me here, that now I can share what I know, which not a lot of people have seen it. I mean, they've heard of it, but they've probably seen it on the film um, Escrimadors, but nobody has seen it now. Okay. Thank you. So everybody, not at the seminar, it's a big, big mistake, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Nice <laughs> <laughs>